Hello and welcome. My name is Karen Staley and um, this is my office. I'm a registered art therapist. I'm registered by the American Art Therapy Association. And I just want to tell you a little bit about art therapy because it is something that I so believe in and it has been my full-time career for the past 25 years. Um, art therapists believe that people express their feelings through drawings and as humans we all understand how difficult it is sometimes to talk about what it is we're really feeling. So the drawings really act as a bridge to help us first and foremost get in touch with what it is we're feeling and then to express it so other people can understand it. Um, so my specific training is in helping people to um, understand and ultimately be able to analyze their own drawings and express themselves through art. My background is that I have a, a BFA from Rutgers University um, and my fine arts degree is in visual arts with a minor in art history. And then after I graduated from Rutgers, I um, realized that I didn't want to go to New York and, and you know, be an artist like a lot of my classmates were doing, um, but I wanted to actually use art to help people. And I found um, the program at Hahnemann Hospital, which is now Drexel University, and I graduated from Drexel, well, it was Hahnemann then, um, in 1987. So my master's degree is in creative arts and therapy with a specialty in art therapy. I've worked um, at the very beginning of my career with um, autistic children and then I've worked on the psychiatric unit um, at Hahnemann Hospital, both adolescent and adult unit and I've worked um, in partial hospitalizations programs as well as outpatient um, as a registered art therapist. After art therapists graduate um, with a master's degree, we also have to be registered by the American Art Therapy Association. And this requires um, another two years of being supervised while you're working. Um, and once you go through all of the protocol, um, that the American Art Therapy Association requires, then you can be registered, and the initials ATR um, are then behind your name. And then after you get registered, then you need to be board certified, so you need to take an exam. So ATRBC is behind my name, and in Pennsylvania, um, to be licensed to be able to take insurance uh, payments, you have to be licensed by the state. And art therapists fall under um, the category, the same category that marriage and family therapists and social workers um, fall under. So um, I am considered an LPC in Pennsylvania and I can take insurance payments. Okay, so that all sounds really, really boring to me. So what I want you to see is my office and then we'll go back to the studio um, and I can show you where I work. But um, let me just show you, um, this is kind of the waiting room where people come in and um, we, we sit down and, and chat and um, if I'm seeing a child, the parent will um, hang out here. Um, so come on back. This is the studio um, where I work every day. Um, and normally the first four sessions um, that I see a client, I will be gathering drawings, whether it's an adult or a child, and I work with both adults and children. Um, I will gather at least 15 to 18 drawings, those first four sessions. Um, so I kind of feel like when I gather those drawings, it's a roadmap. It's a roadmap to um, our treatment plan, and it really is helpful in terms of how um, I relate to that person. Um, so we do drawings here at the drawing table. Um, I have clay set up um, here with the, we use Fimo clay. Um, we can, we can use um, 
a whole gambit of things over here. There's a bunch of uh, um, paint. I have a book press because I often um, hand bind books with my clients, people I work with. Um, there's puppets for kids that get really tired of drawing. We play with puppets. Um, and the length of treatment kind of varies with um, in art therapy. It really depends on what's going on and how often I would see a child or an adult. But normally it's about a six month um, kind of span that is really helpful in terms of me gaining therapeutic trust and, and <clears throat> excuse me, helping them to express their feelings and um, feel better. So, this is it. Um, this is what I want you to see, and I hope that you keep coming back because I want you to really understand a little bit more deeply about art therapy, and so I will be talking about some of the um, things and, and treatment plans and kind of the things that I do 